Hey, it's Michael Spurs here. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you the EFT tapping points. Now you might've come across this video in preparation for one of my workshops coming up or a presentation, a follow along presentation I'm gonna do. Or you might've been on YouTube and you've stumbled across and wanted to learn the EFT points. Now, if you're on YouTube, I'm gonna put some links below where you can join our Facebook group where I promote these workshops and uh, follow along demonstrations. And most, some of them are free, some of them are low priced. So you're welcome to come and check out our group and join in the conversations there if you're ready. The, the link will be left below. So in this video, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try and keep it quick and to the point. And we're obviously we're gonna just learn the points. So we're gonna to get to the point. So I'm gonna leave the theory very light. There are other videos on my YouTube channel or part of this um, preparation for the workshop I'm gonna send you. And all I'm gonna tell you theory wise in this is basically what the meridians are named just for your own general purpose. You don't need to know the names of them, but um, like there's different meridians they're called by the, the organs that they run through. So the meridians are like channels that run through your body um, with the energy, the life energy flows, it flows in and it flows out. And they're labeled by the organ that it runs through. So it might be the heart meridian, the lung meridian, the gallbladder meridian, the bladder meridian, the kidney meridian. But just because there's a blockage along one of those pathways doesn't necessarily mean you have a kidney issue or a lung issue or a heart issue, okay? They're just, the, the meridians are labeled by the organs that they tend to run through or pass through, okay? So as I go through the points, I'll, I'll sort of give you what each one is called, just for your own, you don't need to know this, but this is just for people who might be interested, okay? So let's get on with it. And the first one we're gonna look at is on the side of the hand here, this is called the karate chop point, and it's also the small bladder, uh, small, the small intestine meridian. So it's not up in your, finger, your pinky finger, it's not on your wrist, it's right, but it's on the, when you karate chop something, okay? That's why it's called the karate chop point. And this one here is where we're going to do the setup statement, which we're not going to go into in this video. Uh, that's the other videos and for also the workshop I'm going to show you. So this is the one where we tap first usually. Okay, so we just tap. And when we tap, it doesn't have to be a hard tap, just a gentle tap with a few fingers. Usually two or three fingers is enough. Okay, and we just tap. And we can tap on either hand for this one. Okay, either side. Okay, so that's the first one. And the next one is the top of the head, which is the crown, I'll just make sure I'm getting it right, the crown chakra, we tap on this one. Now this is right in the center of the head. So center being vertically and horizontally right in the center. You can use two hands or one hand, doesn't matter. Okay, so right in the center. And we usually, when we're tapping, we tap about five or six times while we're repeating a statement, which I'll go into in, a, in the workshop and other videos. Okay, now the next one, is not on the middle of your nose, on the bridge of your nose there. It's just to the side where the eyebrows start for most people, okay? So not in the middle, just to the side. Now, you can tap on both. Now, these meridians, some of them are bilateral, which means there's a meridian for each side that's identical to each side. And you can tap either on one of the meridians or both the meridians at the same time. And it doesn't matter if you're tapping this one and the blockage is in this side, they say that that doesn't matter because it'll clear up both sides anyway, okay? So if you only got one hand free, maybe it's easier just to use one hand. Or you can use both. I usually use both on free and I can do it at the time. So just tap both hands with two, three fingers, make sure you cover it. And then the next one is to the side where your eye socket ends. So not to the side down here somewhere, it's just where your eye sort of socket sort of ends around here. Okay. Now with EFT, the beauty of it, if, as long as you're in that general area, that's fine. It doesn't have to be spot on perfect. The only way you can get it wrong is if you're like not doing it at all, okay? So just tap on the side there. About five or 10 times we'll do it during the, when we're repeating the statements, okay? As long as you're in the general area, that's fine, okay? So tapping on both sides there. The next one is under the eye socket. So not down here on the cheekbones or anything, it's sort of just under the eye socket, okay? And I forgot to mention this one here is the bladder meridian. This one here is the gallbladder meridian. And this one's here is the stomach meridian, okay? Now the next one is just under the, your nose and above your lip, so right in the middle there. And this one is what's called the governing meridian. Okay, is that one there? The next one is below the lip and just above the chin. So not on the chin, some people tap on the chin. It's actually between the lip and the chin, okay? So in that area there. 
That's where we're tapping for that one. So this next one is probably the trickiest one, but it's not that hard to find. So this next one's called the kidney meridian. And what we do is we go down from our neck and we basically go down to just under our collarbone, where we feel the collarbone there. Just under there, there might be like a little divot or a bit of a hole there. So straight down from your neck, about that area there, we tap there. You can use your whole hand. You, you know, you think you might be missing it or something. We use some people use their, their their whole fist sort of closed. Okay, so basically it's in line with your neck down here. Okay, so not out here in your shoulders. It's right in between. It's right where your neck is. Or in other ways, if you get your hand span space like this, your fingers like that, you just go about there. It's in that area there. So just under that collarbone, not on the bone, just under it. Okay. This one's the kidney meridian. And the kidney is where the Chinese say that we store fear. Now, this next one we're going to do is actually a liver meridian. And some practitioners don't use this because, um, well, they just don't, they don't, I don't know why, because <laughs> I like to use it for the reason that the Chinese say the liver meridian is where we store anger. The liver, sorry, the liver is where we store anger. So that's why I like to include this one. Um, it's basically, it's on your rib cage. So straight down from your kidney meridians, straight down from there. On your rib, so anywhere on your rib cage is fine, underneath on your rib cage down here, okay? So not out to the side. I know some people tend to go out to the side a bit. So basically straight in line with those, straight underneath there, okay? Just tapping there. Now this next one's easy to find. It's got a bit of a trick to it. So you've got to remember this bit of a trick to this one. So the next one's a spleen meridian. And we go for our armpit, but we go one hand span space down. So not under our armpit. It's one hand span space down. Okay, so we're just tapping there. So right on the side, right over on the side. You might feel a little bit of a muscle there. So we're not on the side of the body here, we're right around, right on the side. Okay, um, on the hand span space under the arm. Okay, well done, you're doing great. Okay, you might even notice it now, just doing those points, you might feel a bit of relief come over you. You might need to take a breath or something like that. So that's a good sign. Now these next few, we don't, don't always use these. A lot of practitioners don't use these or people that just do ETA don't use these, but I, I'll just teach them to you anyway in case we do end up using them in the workshops. So they're all easy to find because they're all on your fingers, all in the same place. Okay, so if you hand your hold, it, hand, hold your hand out, you're going to shake my hand, even though with COVID and that, I don't know if we can shake hands anymore. But um, it's basically, it's not on top of your fingernail, but if you hand your hand like this, carry your hand like that, it's where your fingernail is. So on, on the side of the finger where the fingernail is. So not on the side of the fingers or the thumb. On the side, it's right up on top of the nail here. Not on top of the nail like that, but on top of the nail to the side of it, okay? And basically all the fingers, you just tap on each one of them at a time. And this one here, the ring finger, I think it's called the ring finger. This one, we don't usually tap. But I just say, just tap it anyway so you don't forget. It's just easy just to tap. It's not going to do any harm to just tap it anyway, okay? Otherwise, we go, oh, which finger was it again? So just tap them all. It's fine, okay? So basically, that's it. I'm going to run through them for you once again quickly, okay? So we usually we start here, the karate chop or the small intestine. Then we go to the crown chakra. Then we go to the bladder meridian. We go just to the side of the eye. That's the gallbladder meridian. Under the eye, it's the stomach meridian. This next one under the nose is the governing meridian. Between the lip and the chin, that's the central meridian. Okay, these two straight under the neck here, under the collarbone. This is the kidney meridian. Under the, on the rib cage, right to the front of the rib cage here, that's the liver meridian. One hand span space down from the armpit. Remember, you can do either side, doesn't matter. Remember, it's bilateral, so it doesn't matter which side you do. This is the spleen meridian. Okay. Then the fingers, if we use them in the workshops or whenever you want to use them, just use these. If something feels a bit stuck, you can try these as well. So on the finger again, thumb. All down the sides of the fingers on where the nail is, or towards the end of the fingers. Okay. So this top one is the, I'll make sure I get them right, the lung meridian. This one, this index finger is the large intestine meridian. 
this middle thing is what's called the circulation sex meridian. So that's like your reproductive system, I suppose. That's what they mean by circulation sex. Um, like I said, this one here, I think it's triple warmer, but because we've already tapped on a triple warmer point in some way or another, I'm not exactly sure how that works. But um, usually this one we don't tap at all. But like I say, we just tap it anyway. It doesn't really hurt. That way we don't forget which finger's which. And this last one is the heart meridian. Okay. So pretty simple. Compared to um, learning all the acupuncture points along the various meridians, we're only learning about 10 to 15 meridians. And once you memorize, it becomes like second nature. It's so easy just to go through. Like learning any new skill or habit, it's very easy to remember where they are. Okay. So I tried to be as specific as I could. But remember, you, if you get it just a little bit out, it's not that important. As long as you get in that general area, you'll still notice um, a result. Okay, so again, if you're watching this on YouTube, go down and check out our Facebook group and we're, you're welcome to join us there where I promote different events. I want to put them for free and also low priced. Um, you're welcome to join us, do some EFT and tapping with us and some other techniques and that I know from my EFT and NLP training. And if you're watching this as a pre-learning um, for my workshop, upcoming workshop, please get familiar with these points so we don't hold up the class. I don't want to be spending more time going through this. That's why I'm recording this for you to watch now so you can learn them in your own time then I'll explain the whole process to you during the workshop as a group, okay? Have a fantastic day, and I look forward to catching you soon. Bye-bye.